Today, I'm going to go through some methods for tune shading in Cycles. The first method is it will be light reactive. So if I, if say this um, had a light in the scene, this would be affected by that light. Some of the shaders are going to get onto will not be, but uh, we'll get onto that later. And it's very important that whatever light you do add to this, if you want it to be properly tune shaded, it should be size zero. Any um, spotlights or emissions from planes would be a bit iffy if uh, you wanted a clean cell shaded look. So let's get on to adding a material. So here we're going to ignore diffuse. We're going to enhance the initial tune shader. So this this is how I would. If, so this is how it normally looks. Mm, yeah, it's not great. This uh, so this 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 um, tune shader also has the effect of having shadows being able to be cast upon it. Not all shoot tune shaders will have that in this tutorial, but this particular method will. So. Let's continue improving this with a mix shader and uh, another, I'm going to leave that dot 8. So in, in tune shading I think it's best to have a nice bright background. As you can see, the uh, world color does have an effect on this shader. Not all the other ones I go through will. So this one is a um, pretty good uh, starting one. So just just to be clear, I count the tune shader as having a um, outline as well. So for this shader, I'm going to give it an outline and then I think I'll call it a day and that'll be this first one done so I don't like using freestyle so if, if say you wanted to use freestyle you could go on to I think it's yeah it's here so if I added a camera and rendered this out it would give it a more or less decent outline. I, I don't like it that much because you get weird stuff like this where it yeah, stuff like points and weird edges. Uh, I, I don't I don't like it as much so this, this method I'm going to do will uh, solve that slightly. So if I use a Fresnel and a color ramp what this is going to do is it's... oh wow, this needs to be black, sorry. So this is going to give it a roughly... if I show this, this shows what Fresnel does. It gets a higher value as it goes to the edge of a model. So I thought, why not I just use it in outline? So if I put this to constant and then pull it back slightly, we get somewhat of an outline. Make it a bit thicker. So you can control the effect this has, so if I change this slightly, so it goes about there, this will increase the effect of it, make it a bit more sensitive. So obviously if you do get stuff like areas like this where it's too shallow, uh, but that I think is a worth price paying for a lovely smooth infinitely uh, scalable edge that scales with the mesh itself so you get a lovely smooth outline so yeah this is about done so if I change this color to like red it keeps the shadow color different it responds to light cool so this is a single shade so you get one cell shading color of it 
and I think that could be our default. So single enhanced tune. And now let's move that to the side and bring in another one. So now I'm going to change that. I'm going to make this a slightly better version that I still think has some more merit to it. This tune shader doesn't actually have to be there, by the way. You can just ignore it completely and it still works. Since this will default to a non-shader value and then you can use that as a uh, like outline because it just technically isn't shading anything so if I unsh that's just not shaded so a black light outline would just be not shaded so it might be better for a uh, render time so let's uh, get rid of that actually I need that yep I'll need that sorry and then let's do a add shader and put it there so now let's add a RGB and then let's make this color red again. Actually, that's green. So now I'm going to put this color into here and into here. And I'm going to change these values a bit. So this one's slightly below dot eight, and this one's slightly above. This will become evident. So now we add those two together. So if I look at this, this has got the green shading there, and this has got a slightly D dimmer color. So if I add them together, it gives me a. Let's decrease that. Make it. It gives me a nice double side. Uh, no, double shaded tune edge. So you can see here it has the bright green there. So if I if I increase this, I think, or decrease this. Like if you really wanted, you could uh, add a hue and saturation, and then bring down the hue. Oh no, not that one. Oh god. Math it then. Just stick in that. a bit darker let's say anyway you could just give your give yourself a different color doesn't matter but just make this slightly darker it'll bring out the darker shades a bit more but yeah that'll be your double edge tune so that gives you two shades to work with and yep this still will be light responsive and still cast shadows on itself and you can see here the shadows are a bit giving a bit of ambient occlusion so can we turn it off in two shading it's all about what you can turn off rather than what you can turn on yeah never mind so that's the second one so that's uh, double enhanced tune. 